Hello, different people from wherever you are. How are you doing? Today, we are going to learn a very wonderful lesson. This is the new chapter on pan edutainment. This chapter is going to help you get your English very well. The English that you need is there. Please, we are going to learn how to use active and passive voice in sentences, how to make an active sentence or a passive sentence. Be together with me. I am teacher Jasper. We are going to learn this lesson very well. But make sure before you learn the lesson, make sure you have subscribed. Make sure that you have subscribed. Ugomba kumenya niba wakanze kukanukumu tukuni uri mushu. That is the first thing that you should do before learning the lesson. Mbere yuko wiga isomu. Utaza kubjiva jirugwa my dear. Don't forget to subscribe. If you love English very well. Ni ukundi chonjereza pe. Wikuiva jirugwa. Wukanda kuri subscribe. Another thing that I want to tell you a very tremendous, a very great announcement that I want to tell you is this one. Irindi tangazo nshaka kubaha ni rinjiri. Kwa tangi ishuri ya Zoom. We have started a Zoom class. Irishuri rero ihu utire kuza kuya ndichisha ama soma taragu chika. Wherever you are, wherever you are, we are receiving people from different countries. Mu ahanu hatandu kanyi, mu hugu bitandu kanyi, turikuwa chirabana. Rero, don't hesitate to register yourself because registration is ongoing. Kuya ndichisha vila komeja. Nuvu angu wawe ufakufita internete yihuta, ufakuba ushobora kuishuru dufaranga duche tukishuri, hey, kukona go. It's not for free. <laughs> Na kukaru kubunu. Ariko no dufaranga duche tura hungaho, ugomba kuishuru aguri kwezi. Ariko kami nicho ingereza nyini. Very fantastic. Ichindi, here I have the book. Here are your books. These are your books. Ibi ni vitabo janyu, mugomba kugura, mukabitunga. You should read these books, please. Good. Then I'm not going to talk too much. Only what I'm going to focus on is this lesson. Active and passive voice. Before teaching you this lesson, I'd like to give you the word of today, which is protest. To protest means what? Uh, is to make, this is to make a strong objection. When you are protesting, this means that you are denying, refusing. To refuse, burundu, that is to protest. For example, yesterday I protested the implementation of the project. I protested the implementation of this project. This means that to protest means to deny, to refuse, to negate, yeah? to make a strong objection. Kuba uhakanye burundu. Uhakanye burundu is to protest. Good. Then that's why you have protestants. <laughs> protestants means people who object to something. Protestant, protest. Yeah. Good. Then here, active and passive voice. When a sentence is in active voice, the subject of the sentence is the one doing the action. active voice. The subject, the subject of the sentence is the one doing the action. Example, I eat sweet potatoes every week. That I, this I which is here, is the one that is doing the action. I eat sweet potatoes every day. Active voice. I. But when I say sweet potatoes are eaten by me every day. Ichari I, umunganya wa I harajamo sweet potatoes. I eat sweet potatoes every week. Then, I will say, sweet potatoes are eaten by me every week. 
which means that when I say I eat sweet potatoes every week, iyo I niyo irigu kori jikorwa mure active. That is active. That's why here we say when a sentence is in active voice, the subject ruhamunga of the sentence, the subject of the sentence is the one doing the action. Ruhamunga mu neruro ni irigu kori jikorwa. I I need food. I am the one who needs food. Then that I I will say food is needed by me. That is what we are going to be saying. We are going to look at how we are going to learn how we can change this, the sentence from active into passive. Ukot kwa hinduri neruro, ili muri active. Tui, tui jana muri passive. Muri mache active voice, ni chotu ita injira njira. Ijikorgo wa uri kui kore la wawugao. Then passive ni injira njirgwa. Nuvwa ngo no no, uri gukore rgwa hiji korgwa. Changu chiri gukore rgwa hiji korgwa. Nijibi jumba vorichu mgeru. Ibi jumba viri ganange vorichu mgeru. That is what we are going to be. Uh, learning now. Then here, if I say I eat beans every day, here, the subject, which is I, is doing an action of eating. Hano, subject I, 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 am the one who, who is doing the action. Ninja, I, I, I'm the one who does the action. I eat beans every day. But when a sentence is in a passive voice, the subject is acted on by a verb. No, no, you know, passive. Ruhamna ni yiri kukori jikorwa muri active. She speaks English very well. Urumba she ni yiri kukori jikorwa. She speaks English very well. But when I say English is spoken by her very well ugono kuvuga ngo ugo passive voice no noho ya ruhamwa iri gukorerwa hijikorwa yes then here the, the subject is acted on by a verb examples i eat beans every day here this is a subject this is a verb this is object this is subject ruhamwa ishinga object it chooses we are going to see then, it is subject, object, it is object, it is subject. Then here, in a passive voice, the subject becomes the object, and the object comes to the place of the subject. Muri passive voice, I eat beans every day. The subject, iria I, becomes the object. Iraja mumunganya, changwa se iraja kuja mumunganya wa we choose us. And the object, ichari choose us comes to the place of who? The subject. Chira ita chiza mumunganya wa waruhamunga. That is it. Then here, I eat beans every day. This is active voice. Then you are going to see how things are going to change. Here we are going to say beans are eaten by me every day. Ichari, I eat beans every day. Chireta jinduka, beans are eaten by me every day. Njibishimbo vuri mus. Ibishimbo vuri gananje vuri mus. This sentence is in the passive, this one is it, passive voice. Because it comes from this active voice. Yavuye muri active voice. I eat beans every day. Njibishimbo vuri mus. Beans are eaten by me every day. Tuwaza kureva, mujiche cha kabiri, iyi R ya vuye. Why? Why this R? Beans are eaten by me every day. Tuzari wimhamfu R ya jemu. Kuchi ya jemu. Why this eat? Why this eat? Isi hindu ka eaten. Why that? Don't miss part two of this lesson. Nuza, nuza chikwe ni jiche cha kabiri. Nibuzu mbaneza active passive voice. But even now, you are going to get this lesson very better. Let us continue. Remember, okay, here, remember what we call 
auxiliary verb to be yuri gukora active passive voice intero riri muri passive igomba kujyana na verb to be yes don't forget verb to be if you are changing a sentence from active into passive then you should remember auxiliary verb to be when changing a sentence from active into passive for example another example i know him very well ndamuzi meza cyane i know him very well here you are going to say he is known by me very well this is past participle a verb to know then this is verb to be in part 2 we are going to get the rules turaza kureba mategeko why this verb to be why this past participle of verb to know these are other examples or examples i can give you other or examples i can say she speaks english that is what we call active voice she speaks english avuga icyongereza then you are going to say tujye kubindura muri passive icyongereza kivugwa nawe english is spoken by her i need my chair i need my chair nkeneye intebe yanje my chair is needed by me intebe yanje ikenewe nange nta wundi my chair is not needed by you intebe yanje ntikenewe nawe my chair is needed by me all together good you can say she loves him aramukunda iyo him iraitinduka hi kuko tubijyanye muri passive he is loved by her she loves him he is loved by her another example we cook beans every morning duteke bishimbo buri gitondo beans are cooked by us every morning Beans are cooked by us every morning. All together. She speaks French very well. Avuga igifaransa neza. Uzahita uvuga kuti French kukugiye muri passive. Biri uhita bihinduranya. French is spoken spoken past participle of verb to speak and verb to be which is is. French is spoken by her very well. nice then here if you want to learn active passive voice very well ni ushaka kwiga active passive voice nturambirwe wicare ujubona amasomo kuko iri somo ni ligari this is a very big lesson kuko dufite bice byinshi tuzitwabategure kuko active passive ijyana na tenses rero ntabwo wamenye active passive utaragura iki gitabo No never can you get this concept or this chapter active passive voice if you don't have this book kuki gitabone nicyo kikwigisha ibintu byose ama past participles and even this one this one regular irregular verbs then you should come very quickly and buy the books there at Kimiro nice then here after getting this lesson we have the part 2 part 3 part 4 part 5 which will help you get the chapter very well to recall active passive voice then abantu bari bakeneye kwigira isomo ndabizi ko umuntu wese uzi ushaka kumenya icyongereza agomba kuryiga we are here for you twatangiye kuri bazanira turajya turigisha slow by slow buke buke ama parties ibice ni tugira part 5 uza gutangiye kubimenya nes part 6 part 7 part 8 and so on Okay then now uh, this is our right time to give you the saying the saying of today but before giving you the saying i would like to tell you something try your best to make other examples create some examples on the use of active passive voice very soon tomorrow or tomorrow but one we are giving you the part 2 ariko nibura tuzagwe part 2 nawe wagerageje gukora iyo bwabaga 
bajarije gukora interuro kuri active passive voice good then after we are going to give you the saying of today in english we say chongereza tuvuga ngo the longer you live in the past the less future you enjoy the longer you live in the past the less future you enjoy ukutinda kuhahise hao utekereza kubyahise cyane the less future you enjoy niko utaryoherwa na hazaza the longer you live in the past the less future you enjoy i thank you so much i am teacher jasper we are together bye bye